how to take Cornell style notes in a blog. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this. So first off, I'm going to show you a finished template that I made and I'm going to show you how to create this. So let's go in and take a look at some resources. First off, if you go look at um, Cornell's lesson on how to you know, take better notes, it's a really cool uh, experience. I have that link below so you can check out these modules and it takes you through step by step what is good note taking, why do we do it, and so on. And let's go over here. Um, here's a video overview which we're going to put at the top of the sample that we're going to create here. And when we create our blog, uh, let me be more specific, when we create a blog post, yeah, I'm going over here, um, we're usually embedding some kind of resource we're watching at the top. And that's what you see here. This would be an example of, let's say I want to learn from this video. And then we would create the sections for, for Cornell notes here. So we have a cue section and the note taking section and down below a summary section for after the fact where we can write the summary component. So let me go into a blank blank blog post here and I'm going to um, title it this and right here we're going to embed the video so let's go over here and take a look and I'm going to copy the blog, I'm sorry, the video address and we'll go up here and I'll paste it here and it should automatically embed itself. That's usually the case. Then I'm going to hit return and down here I want to click plus and I want to add in something new. In this case, a table. So if I look over here, I click on table, and it's going to ask me how many columns and rows do I want. Well, I'm not quite sure yet. So let me, uh, right now, I'm just, I know I want two columns, and I'm going to just go with one row for now, and I'm going to create the table. So right here, I'm going to write Q, and I like to bold this. So if I click over here in bold, and then over here is notes. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to bold that as well. But now um, I want to write stuff, but I need to add more, you know, rows. So how do I do that? Well, first off, let's write the summary down here. So let's add this in. And uh, I'm going to just do, um, let's do a paragraph. And I'm going to write summary. And remember, you can change the format. I actually do want to have a heading. And I found that heading three is a nicer size. I might even go smaller like heading four. Yeah, why not? And then down below this will be where I'll write my summary um, after the fact. So let's go back here. So how do I add more rows here? So if you look here, we have a number of different tools um, right here. But if I click on this, it's just telling me to format um, the table that I have. So what I do is I can come over here and I can show more settings. And over on this side, I have numerous options, which is really helpful. And if I click on advanced, I can see some other things down here, color settings, that's kind of fun. So you can experiment with this, okay? Uh, what I'm gonna do though, is show you this option. Right here, I can insert rows after. So I'll go like that, and now I have a row. And so this might be, you know, stuff. This is what I'm writing uh, during the process. And then I'll click over here and I want to, uh, insert another row after. Now when I'm reviewing, I might write some stuff over here uh, under the queue. But the idea is I don't have to write everything on every single row, but uh, the idea of creating um, the things you need. Now if I come down here and I decide that I actually want to delete something, I can do that as well. So in review, we embed our, our learning source, then we create our table and add our queue column, our notes column, and then we have our summary down below for when we're done. And we can then come back and write down cues after, uh, but we can go back and forth and work on this and uh, then publish it. And it's a way to create a renewable resource in our blog, but also activate all the powerful things that we've learned about Cornell note-taking. So well, there you go. And of course, always hit publish, hit it again second time, make sure it's there. And I personally always like to wait for it, wait for it. Uh, I like to view the post so I can see what it looks like at the top here. So there you go. Thanks for watching.